Dracarys. In Game of Thrones, the Targaryen house brings the magic and the fury. They represent a vitality and a mystery, both inspirational and terrifying. The Targaryen sigil is a red three-headed dragon on a black field. Like their bold colors, the Targaryens are raw and ruthless. Like their dragons, they are larger than life, connected to the essential mysteries and powers of life itself. The Targaryens ruled the Seven Kingdoms for centuries until the Baratheon seized power in Robert's Rebellion, and the long Targaryen rule was terminated. Rhaegar fought Valiant. Rhaegar fought nobly, and Rhaegar died. Just as many believe dragons to be extinct, they wrongly believe the Targaryens to be out of the picture after this point. Targaryens are gone. So the appearance of Daenerys and her dragons signals the rebirth of the Targaryen house, a drastic upheaval of the current world order, and the return of magic itself to Westeros. I am Daenerys Stormborn of House Targaryen. Of the blood of old Valyria, I am the dragon's daughter, and I swear to you that those who would harm you will die screaming. Overall, the Targaryens represent mythic power, inner vitality, destiny, leadership, the interconnectedness of creation versus destruction, and madness. You don't want to wake the dragon, do you? Fire and blood. Fire and blood. With fire and blood, I will take it. The Targaryen motto, fire and blood, evokes powerful, intimidating, and violent imagery. Blood pumping through our veins keeps us alive, but the word blood makes us think of bloodshed, something the Targaryens won't shy away from in the name of their cause. Fire is likewise a symbol of vitality and survival, but it's equally as deadly and extremely difficult to control. A contained fire is inner life and a powerful spirit, but a rapidly spreading wildfire symbolizes the Targaryen madness, a destructive force that's not in control of itself. Fire is a life force, the antidote to ice, or the anti-winter. So while the show continues to warn that winter is coming and the White Walkers with it, Daenerys' Targaryen fire may be the harbinger of summer that's needed to counter or balance that cold. But fire also burns so hot that it's hardly a precise instrument, targeting only the guilty or intended enemies. A fire-breathing dragon can easily destroy many innocent bystanders in the vicinity. Like fire, Daenerys herself is not a person of middle grounds. She's all or nothing. You will release every slave in Yunkai. Fire and blood are also the ingredients that make Danny's dragons come to life. Her eggs hatch thanks to the combination of fire from the funeral pyre and the organic life matter, or blood, of the bodies of Khal Drogo and the witch who performed blood magic on him. The blood of the motto can also refer to how the Targaryens keep their bloodline pure through incest. Pure Targaryen blood allows them to connect with dragons, but centuries of incest mean that they're prone to madness. In the books, many state of Targaryen rulers, madness and greatness are two sides of the same coin. Half the Targaryens went mad, didn't they? What's the saying? Every time a Targaryen is born, the gods flip a coin. The Targaryens reflect this duality of the life cycle, creation as much as destruction. Their ancestor Aegon Targaryen, also known as Aegon the Conqueror and Aegon the Dragon, united six of the seven kingdoms of Westeros, except for Dorne, which joined later, while Daenerys' father, the Mad King, wanted to... Burn them all! This duality is in our minds as we watch Danny. Driven by an inner fire to champion oppressed peoples, she seems to represent a purity of purpose and a solid moral code that departs from the usual selfish ambition that drives most of Westeros. I command you to go back out there and fight! It's a beautiful dream. Stopping the wheel. You're not the first person who's ever dreamt it. I'm not going to stop the wheel. I'm going to break the wheel. Yet that same fire also drives her to claim the Iron Throne that she views as her destiny and inheritance. I was born to rule the Seven Kingdoms. And I will. So we have to wonder whether her noble mission can remain pure and selfless, or whether her family's madness and inner destructiveness will overcome her like it eventually did her father. I know what my father was. What he did. I know the Mad King earned his name. 
The raw, primal Targaryen red and black in comparison to the more muted Stark gray and white or the noble Lannister crimson and gold represents straightforward power and vitality, a strong, ruthless enemy with its own unbending rule of law. Daenerys's basic red and black threatened to tear down the more ornate artifices that houses like the Lannisters have built. Red is a warm and bold color associated with action, passion, and the will to survive. It signifies leadership, determination, ambition, and empowerment. This is symbolic of the transformation we witness in Daenerys. She begins as a meek and unobtrusive character, not one we'd immediately predict would dominate, yet she perseveres and gains confidence to become a passionate and motivating leader, undergoing empowerment until she embodies the Red Dragon. Meanwhile, red is also a ruthless and aggressive color. While Danny is merciful to the innocent, she's unforgiving of the harsh masters that commit wrongdoings. Black also indicates intimidation and power, and it relates to the unknown and the mysterious, what can't be seen or is in the dark, which is what Daenerys is in Westeros, a mystery to the other players in the Game of Thrones. People in Westeros don't know I'm alive. They will soon enough. Curiosities on the far side of the world are no threat to us. Black suggests the hidden power of death and destruction that she may rain down on her enemies. Where are my dragons? In the history of A Song of Ice and Fire, the Targaryens weren't the only family who could control dragons, but they're the last family of dragon riders to survive the doom of Valeria. It's said that the Targaryens have the blood of the dragon, an animal that breathes fire. <laughs> And Valeria with Oana got extant. Valeria Munyuengos Nuyis Issa. Aegon established the ruling Targaryen dynasty in 1 AL or 1 AC, standing for after landing or after conquest, which suggests that in this world he's the equivalent of a Jesus Christ figure. He forged the Iron Throne from the swords of his enemies, heated with dragon fire. The elements of the throne symbolically link the dragon and fire, and thus the Targaryens, to power itself. The throne reminds us that power is never secure and should never become complacent, just as no one can ever sit comfortably on the swords of the Iron Throne. It's key that while the Targaryens possess superhuman strengths, their power has limits. They can't fully control either their fire or their dragons. They are personally fire resistant. Fire cannot kill the dragon. And we've seen Daenerys live through some fire. But according to George R. R. Martin, they're not totally immune. Likewise, the dragons may submit to their dragon riders, but the animals are still their own beings who may act in their own interests. <laughs> These forces that aid the Targaryens aren't enslaved, and the Targaryens aren't guaranteed to remain master of them. Thus, the house embodies a key truth about power and its boundaries. Every person who rules must remember that power is not absolute or infallible. It's subject to consent and respect, and only lasts as long as one subjects, the gods, and or fate will allow. The three heads of the dragon on the sigil symbolize Aegon the Conqueror and his two sisters, who were also his wives. Aegon broke with Targaryen tradition by marrying not just one of his sisters, but both. The prophecy of the dragon who has three heads suggests there must be three dragon riders to take back the Iron Throne for the Targaryens together. Speculations about these three riders include Danny, Jon, and potentially someone else like Tyrion. Tyrion has a connection with the dragons, which some interpret as a sign of Targaryen blood. And the Mad King may have taken liberties with his mother, Joanna. But according to the books, one can still be a dragon rider even without Targaryen blood. Continuing on this theme of three, Daenerys receives three dragon eggs as a wedding gift. And while the dragons aren't three-headed, she does have three of them, Drogon, Rhaegal, and Viserion. All three are named after men in Danny's life, and the colors and characteristics of each dragon, like the Stark's direwolves, are indicative of their namesakes. Drogon, who's named after Danny's late husband, Khal Drogo, is black with red markings, the Targaryen colors. The largest, most aggressive, and most fiercely protective, he's the dragon Danny rides. Drogon has the most personality of the three, just as of the three men after whom Daenerys named her dragons, Khal Drogo was her closest bond. Viserion and Rhaegal were named after Danny's two brothers, Viserys and Rhaegar. Viserion has cream and gold-colored scales with red-orange wings. The cream coloring is symbolic of the Valerian features, characterized by very fair skin and silver hair, while his gold coloring symbolizes the way Viserys died. A crown for king.
Rhaegal's green and bronze coloring is also indicative of how his namesake was killed. Robert Baratheon killed Rhaegar on the green banks at the Battle of the Trident. While we think of Game of Thrones as a fantastical world, it's notable that when we first enter it, telling one of the Lannisters in King's Landing about dragons sounds crazy. She has three dragons. The revelation that magic exists is just as shocking to them as it would be to us. Do you believe there's a plan for this world? No. Neither did I. I was a cynic, just like you. Daenerys's dragons, as well as the Valerian steel and children of the forest, prove that magic is still there, lurking and ready to rise again. After Drogo dies and Danny hatches the eggs, she awakens to a key piece of herself and claims her right as the heir to the once great house Targaryen. She begins to understand her own power. The ultimate Targaryen, Daenerys inspires viewers. She's a self-empowered beacon of strength who stands for justice, beautiful, noble power, and a pure sense of purpose. Yet we're always aware of the threat that the other side of her Targaryen nature will rear its ugly head.